Hi guys! Another lesson for today and that is grade 6 science, quarter 1, module 1, lesson 6, suspensions and their characteristics. So, ito po ang magiging lesson natin for today. We will discuss this lesson in Filipino and English para maintindihan talaga natin. Kung hindi nyo pa po napanood yung mga previous lessons natin from lesson 1 to lesson 5, i-check nyo lang po ang ating playlist that is science. And meron po po tayong mga ibang subject na meron din tayong mga tutorial videos. So, pakicheck na lang din po ng ating playlist. This is Cindy from Cindy the Thrifty. Again, don't forget to like and follow our page that is Cindy the Thrifty. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel that is also Cindy the Thrifty. Mixtures can be classified as solution, colloid, and suspension. So, suspension is our lesson for today. And tapos na rin natin na pag-usapan kung ano yung solution and colloid. Panoorin nyo lang po ang ating mga previous videos. Suspension. What is suspension? Suspension is a mixture where visible particles can be seen by the naked eye and it settles down at the bottom when left undisturbed. So, makikita mo yung mga particles niya kapag pinabayaan mo yan siya dyan over time, makikita mo yung mga particles niya na nagsettle sa bottom. And meron ding mga ibang solution or mga ibang mixture na nasa taas nagsisettle. So, let's find out kung ano yung mga examples ng suspension. Suspension has a cloudy appearance when two substances are mixed together. So, saan ba ginagamit yung suspension? Ang suspension ay ginagamit sa food processing, sa medicine, at sa mga beverages. Ano nga ulit yung characteristics ng ating suspension? First is, can be seen by the naked eye. Kapag i-mix mo siya and meron ka ng suspension, makikita mo yung mga particles niya. Hindi kagaya ng solution and colloid. So, suspension, particles can be seen in a naked eye. Pagkatapos, kapag uh, pinabayaan mo siya over time, makikita mo na nagsisettle down yung mga particles or nasa taas yung mga particles. So, yun ang characteristics ng suspension. And kapag nag-mix ka ng substances to mix, to form a suspension, makikita mo na cloudy yung appearance ng tubig or yung solvent mo. Cloudy ang kanyang appearance. So, yun ang mga characteristics ng suspension. Now, let's go to our examples. So, first, let's have an examples. <clears throat> let's go to our kitchen and see the examples of suspensions. Okay, so we have two glasses of water here and then we have cornstarch or flour. You can use flour and we have oil. So, let's put cornstarch here in our first glass and then let's just stir this one okay so parang meron na tayong milk ha <laughs> this is our first mixture Let's go to our second glass and let's put some oil here. Okay, so yan. That's enough. And then let's tear this one also. Okay, so I think that's enough. And we have two mixtures here. First is the flour and water. Second is the oil and water. Okay, so what we are going to do is we will leave our two mixtures here for a while and see what will happen. Okay, so while waiting for our mixtures, let's try some questions first. Let's try to answer some questions first. So first question is, what is a suspension? Yes, suspension is a kind of mixture where visible particles can be seen by the naked eye and the particles will settle down at the bottom when left undisturbed over time. So give me three uses of suspension. We have discussed that earlier. Yes, suspension can be used in medicine, beverages, and processing of foods. 
Another question. What is the appearance of a suspension when two mixtures are mixed together? Yes, it appears to be cloudy. Give me two examples of suspension. Mm -hmm. So let's see if you really understand our lesson for today. Yes, first is sand and water. Sand and water um they will they won't mix together so sand will sand will settle down at the bottom when you mix them together so that is an example of a suspension another another is hot water and tea leaves when you mix them together so tea leaves will settle down at the bottom so those are the examples of suspension Okay, so I think tama na yung paghihintay natin. So, let's see our two mixtures. So, this is our first mixture. The water and flour or the cornstarch. And the second is the water and oil. So, let's see these examples. So, our first mixture, the flour and the water mixture, is... What do you call this mixture is? Yes, of course. This is an example of a suspension. Because when you mix them together, so the water appears cloudy. Yung kulay niya, it appears cloudy. And then, when left over time, ang kanyang mga particles ay nagsettle down dito sa bottom. So, let's see it closely. Ayan, so mapapansin nyo na ito yung flower niya dito sa baba. Nagsettle down siya dito over time. Kasi... Iniwan natin siyang undisturbed. Ayan. So, napapansin nyo na nag-settle down yung flower dito sa baba. So, this is an example of a suspension. And this first mixture here, we can see its particles. So, suspension talaga yung mga characteristics niya. Nakita natin yung particles niya. It appears cloudy and nag-settle down yung kanyang mga particles dito sa bottom when left undisturbed. Okay, so let's go to our second mixture, the oil and water mixture. So as you can see, hindi nagmix yung dalawa. Hindi nagmix yung water at saka yung oil. Makikita natin ang particles or makikita natin yung oil na dito siya sa taas nag-suspend. And pag mix natin kanina, yung water niya appears to be cloudy. So this mixture is also a suspension dahil ang kanyang tubig or ang kanyang mixture kanina pag mix natin appears to be cloudy and nakikita natin sa ating naked eyes ang kanyang particle and pagkatapos is nas nag suspend ang kanyang particle dito sa taas. So this is also an example of a suspension. Now we know that these two examples here or these two mixtures here are examples of suspension. That's all for today's video guys. I hope you learned something new today. And if you learned something new today, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up and share this video to your classmates and friends. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and like and follow our page. That is indeed a thrifty. Thanks for watching. Bye! See you on our next lesson. Don't absent!